All right, today we're going to talk about the Suron and the Segway uh, Hall Effect Sensor. Um, I th had a motor, this one, that was cutting out at startup. It was uh, real jerky and sometimes even would bang like it stopped moving it all together. Uh, something was definitely wrong, which uh, typically is the Hall Effect Sensor. Uh, and sometimes even when you're going uh, half throttle, a little more than half throttle, it'll just shut off and not go anywhere. That could also be your Hall Effect Sensor. What the Hall Effect Sensor does is it tells the controller at what, fa what phase to energize to make the machine move. And it does that with this little magnet right here, signals into the Hall Effect Sensor and tells the controller where the motor is so it knows which of the three phases to energize to make it move. So I ordered a new one thinking that would fix it, but after uh, putting it back in, I realized that the magnet had slipped on the rotor, on the motor rotor. You can see that there's a little square notch right here on the, on the rotor, and there's a little round notch on the magnet, and it has moved. It needs to be lined up directly with that, and that's probably the whole heart of my problem, is that the magnet moved, and then the, the Hall Effect sensor doesn't know what, it looks like it's a little later or a little earlier in time, and won't do it properly. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because the new Hall Effect sensor has the uh, temperature uh, thermocouple on the sensor instead of inside the motor, which is great. Uh, I'm going to carefully pry this off and then reinstall it. I'm going to clean it all up with a uh, contact cleaner and reinstall it with some sort of glue. I'm, I'm going to use green Loctite, uh, but press it back on so it's flush like this uh, with green Loctite and it should be good to go. Hopefully this helps. See ya.